Hi, this is Rick. Today we're going to talk about how to install the transducer used with the AccuSet 2. This is an installation on an LT30, 40, or 50 installation. The first thing that needs to be done is we need to remove the covers to access the transducer. Okay, the next thing we need to do is raise the saw head to place this magnet as close to the top bracket as we can get it. The reason we do this is it will be, it will be easier to pull the transducer out of the top bracket and the magnet at the same time without removing the top bracket. The next step we need to do is to remove the lower bracket and take off the transducer. We remove the lower bracket by loosening the two mounting bolts that hold it to the mast. Once that's done, you will lift up on the transducer, slide it out of the upper brackets, and then you will swap this bracket over onto the new transducer. One thing you need to make sure is that when you install the transducer, that the identification label is aiming outward so that you can read it. We will need that in the next step to set the gradient of this transducer. Once the uh, AccuSet transducer is reinstalled, we need to reinstall the covers, and then we'll calibrate the machine to match the transducer. Now that the covers are reinstalled, we'll need to calibrate the AccuSet 2 to the gradient number off the transducer. You'll find the gradient number on the transducer or, or on the box the transducer came in and it will be an 8.4 digit number or 9.4 digit number. We make sure that we're in manual mode. We will then hit our up arrow and we will go to calibrate head and then we will select gradient. We will use the up and down arrows to set this top number to match the transducer. When that's done, we're gonna hit save We'll press the save button again, and it says save settings, press it one more time. Now that we've got the gradient set, we have to reset the 12 inch of the blade. So we will lower the head to 12 inches above the bed rail, and then we again will go back to manual mode. We will select the up arrow, calibrate head again, and this time we're going to press the set at 12 inch button that will now match your screen to the transducer. You will then hit save and save again. The last thing we need to do after that is we need to set our scale, our manual scale back to where it was since we removed those covers. We will lower the screen down till we're on 12 inches. And once it's at 12 inches, we're gonna look at our scale and see if we match. If it does not match, we will loosen up our two bolts here and here, and we will line that scale up with the 12 inch. Okay, that covers putting a transducer on for an AccuSet 2. If you have any questions, feel free to call customer service. Thank you.